Welcome back. Well, I must say, Uncle Bo is very reluctant to have this version of the song played because this is not a studio recording. This is a live uh, recording. This is a live recording from his concert in, in uh, Frankfurt. In Frankfurt. Very powerful song, Uncle Bo. Powerful and political. Very, very, very political. Very strong. <laughs> very, very powerful, rather. But well, the point is, it, it's not only political. I, I have had benefit of listening to the studio tracks several times. Uh, it's not only political, but it's also powerful arrangement musically, and also the the, the theme, the lyric. I, mm. I haven't heard anyone praise Nkrumah from the point of view of like he left us and then come back. Is that what? Is that, is that, yeah, 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 yeah. That's, 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 you know that that really mm. brings to uh, yeah. to mind you know yeah. how tragic it was that he he left, yes, yeah. thinking he was going to help, and then. Mm -hmm. Didn't really come back. He, he was lucky. If he had come back, they would have killed him. Or you know, you know. I just love the. Is that Adwa really yes, behind? Adwa, yes, Adwa behind, and it, it's, it's. As I understand it, uh, this is the first of uh, the first of um, Uncle Boy Butele's um, two new albums. The Frankfurt album is going to be released in February. Am I right? Yes, yeah, in February. And, and when do you expect to? This is recorded with the good old Eastmans. Um, that is supposed to come out in by December. Um, yeah. Okay, so so the this one we just heard. Yeah. I mean that, the the album and what's that? Bonzi music. Yeah, Bonzi Bonzi Kunkuma. Can I explain that a bit? Yeah, Bonzi Kunkuma is uh, the music of uh, you know an analytical study of music of the Fantis, you know uh, at Akan, uh, Fanti Akans, and it is mainly hinged uh, you know uh, on. Um, Asafo, Adenku, Madua, you know, and the songs actually are extracted from the Asafo uh, repertoire. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. I must say, Ankele Bo helped me in some research I did with Maury Fisherman. And when we went to jam in Maury, the fisherman immediately identified with it. So this is kind of 
music that can have a very direct developmental impact. But at the same time, are you not worried that as a crafty person, you get so political? No, um, um, sometimes uh, it's part of emotions. Of, of, of course, uh, musicians are also politicians. Okay. Uh, as uh, uh, my son Kweku Bakun will tell me, mm -hmm. if you go and buy Kinky today and the next day you go and you have reduced the size of it, you ask my ma ma madam why. why? And that's all politics. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he tells me. I ask because I noticed you also very boldly, if I might put it that way, composed a song for Chachichikata when he was in jail. Yes, I did because I, I felt as I still had a case, you know, and. Um, uh, it, it wasn't proper, you know, the way the, uh, the authorities acted, you know, um, there was no justice. It was uh, like uh, they were using the, the position of the government to just to put someone behind bars. You know, and the guy didn't get any you know, fair trial. So I joined the people who were shouting, uh, release him. You composed a powerful song yeah, for that. That's, mm. I did. Yeah. Good, good. Uh, well, I mean, whether you like the political message or not, I mean, just like before you had to fill a song, whether you mm. whether you agree with the message or not, this is fantastic music. But Alfred, let me go back to the point I was making before about the diasporic uh, reception of this kind of heritage. You see, it appears to me that we as Ghanaians, especially with Nkrumah's heritage, we've paid some dues, but from where I sit, We've not ripped enough from that use. Very much so. Um, I've always felt um, the, the type of music we play in Ghana, the, the, um, the mixing of our own music with other cultures, or maybe with jazz, halaf with jazz and so on and so forth. It's very interesting and also very commercial, you know, but they never, they haven't been, especially for Ghana. You you get music being sold from Mali, Senegal, and so on and so forth. But mm. for, when it comes to Ghanaian music, we've not broken the world music no, scene. No, it's been shunned. Apart from CBS, uh, which I said a long time ago, really the peak, a long time. The, the, I I do not know why, but uh, we don't. But the impression I get, the, the impression I get is that we are at the juncture of a very major breakthrough. Um, Miles Claret. Um, that's right, yeah, know. that's right. I mean, Miles Claret, who's a very famous UK DJ based in uh, Brighton, mm -hmm. around Soundway Music. He released a two volume set, Ghana Sounds, mm -hmm. about four or five years ago. Mm -hmm. And that was, I think it was a seed more on the underground. I mean, if you go to the dance scene in most of Europe, it's there, but these, there are bands I know in London now who are actually learning. Ghanaian music for that, for I'm not that recording. I'm not surprised. Yeah, I'm not they, surprised. They're not picking up on what is happening here. I, I'm not against the, the, the lyric lyrical uh, content yeah. of, of, mm. of the hip life and so on. I mean, some of the guys write very beautiful, but the music, underlying music, which is almost like computerized, and sometimes has nothing to do with real, yeah. if you like, Ghanaian music. Well, let, 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 uh, me, let, me, know, challenge let me challenge you. Let, okay, let, let me challenge you a bit on hip life. As I said, I'm not really an old media yeah. journalist, so yeah, I feel very yeah. uncomfortable sitting yeah. here. I'm much more comfortable doing whatever I like uh, in uh -huh, new media. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I have a recording with the founder of hip life, Reggie Rockstone. I recorded with him before, so I know him. Okay, yeah, okay. Just. Now, well, Reggie and I'm sure many hip life guys will tell you that, well, without hip life, there will be no Ghana music today. And uh, I think about three weeks ago, I encountered Ochame Kwame. And I felt I didn't know about him at all. It's a very interesting definition of music, Ghana music. There's always Ghana music today. There's always the culture that's going, the, the real yeah, course, solid yeah. roots mm. of our music is always mm. ongoing uh, mm. internationally. In all well, let, let, okay, let, let me go to the big point I was trying. And again, I would want to say, I'm not a professional. <laughs> Joe Oseado, if you are listening to me at all, your phones appear to be turned off. 